In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and replace a front axle pivot bushing on a two-wheel drive Ford F-150. Remove the tire just to have better access. So I raised my vehicle and I put a pull jack under the suspension. We need to raise it up a little bit, take the pressure off the spring and the shock. And now I'm going to remove the bottom half of the front shock. I have an 18 millimeter socket and an 18 millimeter wrench. And now I'm going to remove the coil spring clamp bolt. It's a 14 millimeter wrench for the back and a 15 millimeter socket on the front. All right, so now I just got my bracket out of there. It's a little hot because I had to heat it with the induction tool to get that bolt out that was stripped. So now I'm going to lower the pole jack and separate that spring from the top of that shock tower bracket. Get all that pressure off. All right, so I just have to get a pry bar, pry down a little bit on this. I'm going to give it a little pull down and it will come right out of the top of that housing. So to remove this bolt, it's 18 millimeter socket and a 21 millimeter wrench on the other side. We're going to loosen this up. Now with a pry bar, you can just pull this down gently. And I'm gonna put this pry bar in right in like that. So now I can get my ball joint press. I'm gonna press that out. So once I pried it down, I put a two by four in here just to hold that a little bit sturdier. And I'm just gonna give this a little spray, help it along hopefully. And I'm gonna be using a ball joint press. And I'm just gonna use the cups that, that comes with it. And press this out. So I got my ball joint set up out here. Make sure you put a cap that is bigger than the actual bushing that's going to get pressed out. I'm going to start with just using the actual ball joint press and see if I can get most of this out. Okay, here we go. So this bushing is so bad that actual, the sleeve was broken off from the inside of that bushing, so it just pushed right out. I'm going to try an air chisel just to loosen this up because I don't have anything that fine to grab this piece of metal and push it out. We might be able to get it with a nice air chisel. Now with some sandpaper, you just want to catch any burrs, rust, get it all out of there so we can press in the new bushing. So here's the new bushing and I'm going to use the cap, it's a perfect size, and then I'll put a cup on this side and pull it right through. I'm going to just give it a little penetrating spray just to help it along, see if I can center that bushing. All 
right, this is what I do with every bushing, even though it's the steel part. I always put a silicone paste in there. I learned this years ago from a front end specialist and it helps rust from inhibiting inside there and causing damage. Then I'm just gonna take out this two by four and I'm gonna line it up. And I'll get my pole jack to push it up the rest of the way. There we go. We just have to jack up the back, pivot it that way. I just put a little more tension on that pole jack and it rose back, made the back rise up. I put a little thread locker on the nut. I'd like to do that with anything that is suspension. Just gives it that extra. Now the torque spec on this is 110 to 148 foot pounds. So we're gonna go with the Max Aruni 148. I'm gonna snug it up before I torque it. That's the 18 millimeter socket on the head bolt and a 21 millimeter wrench on the nut. All right, let's get the torque wrench. 148 foot pounds. Now we can lower the pole jack and lower our vehicle and get back to the outer spring to put together. So now we're gonna rotate my spring, make sure that the flat part of that top of the spring lines up with that bolt hole for the clamp. And I'm just gonna pull down on the suspension and push that spring right into the seat. All right, now we have the spring seated in place, flat spots lined up with the hole. Put the bracket in first, get it lined up. If you can latch it back there, that's great. But now we're gonna actually take the pole jack and raise it up and compress this spring so that will fold in place easily. I'm gonna raise up the suspension. Just holding it in place and raising the vehicle. Okay, 15 millimeter wrench, 13 millimeter socket. I'm gonna snug this up. The torque spec is 13 to 18 foot pounds. Now we can put our lower shock bolt in. I'll loosen up on that, let the back bolt line up. Put 
open it up. Eighteen millimeter socket and an eighteen millimeter wrench. Let's tighten up this shock mount. Now torque spec is forty four to fifty nine, and I'm at fifty nine. Now we can lower the jack and we're done. Snug up in a crisscross pattern. The wheel torque is 100 foot-pounds, and we're going to do it in a star pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.